This evening's edition of Apocalypse News. I'm Cole, filling in for Nacho, who was brutally mauled by zombies last week. Brains. He will be missed. Our main story this week concerns the launching of the Purdue Survivor Satellite Network. Felix is on the scene. Thank you, Cole. With the world following apart around us, Team RO9 has developed a way to locate the remaining survivors of the human species. I'm here with the lead designer of the project, Roberto Cardano. So, to start, with 99% of the population being the walking dead, who is this project for? Our greatest concern are the people here at Purdue. And those scattered survivors who are looking for a place to live. It is our belief that the best way for humanity to survive is to bring enough people together so they can protect each other. Thanks. Fascinating stuff, Roberto. Are there any risk in constructing and launching a rocket in an university campus? Team R09 designed a risk matrix based off of NASA's matrix that accounts for performance, health and safety, the vehicle itself, environmental impacts, as well as financial impacts. Of course, we want an effective rocket capable of launching to our specific needs but risk will always be present. I would like to bring to attention the following table regarding the possible risk. The possible consequences of an event and the likelihood of an event happening are noted by these two axes. Risk is measured as the combination of these two factors. So, the rocket blowing up, that would be a bad thing, wouldn't it? Yes. Thank you, Roberto. So there you have it. That's Team's R09's plan to save the human species. Back to you, Cole. Thank you, Felix. Now for Apocalypse News' exclusive look into the design process for Team R09's rocket. For more on this, we go to Lara. Here at the R09 design station, Elijah is hard at work determining the best rocket to launch the Purdue Survivor satellite network. Our first step was to determine the orbit for our satellites. They had to periodically sleep across the entire world covering enough land to properly locate survivors. We set on a polar orbit of 400 kilometers. This altitude satisfies our requirements and can be reached by launching from West Lafayette. After losses from launch, the team used historical data from old vehicles like the space shuttle. The total delta V required for launch will be 9,400 meters per second. A rocket isn't just defined by its delta V. How did you derive the other rocket design elements? To find FNR, the team looked at values for similar liquid engines came up with an estimation for our rocket of 12%. How did you lift these satellites into orbit? We analyzed the different fuel types that would require the lowest fuel mass for a single or two-stage rocket. The fuels we looked at were kerosene with liquid oxygen, hydrazine with liquid fluorine, kerosene with nitrogen tetroxide, and nuclear propulsion. The hydrazine and nuclear options were then determined to not be viable options because of their extreme health effects. six different combinations of stages with two stages of kerosene and liquid oxygen being the most effective option. This setup has an ideal delta V split of 50% in each stage and a launch weight of 8,820 kilograms. Thus, the final rocket design can be seen here. The first stage burns until it is exhausted, at which point it is dropped so the second stage can begin to fire, lifting the CubeSat and payload into low Earth orbit. With the launch scheduled for May 3rd, Team R9 is working like a student who hasn't come to class since February studying to ace the final exam. The design draws from historical precedent and modern calculations to create the most effective orbital launch vehicle. However, it is still unclear why undergraduate students were given this responsibility when a number of professors are still alive. This concludes our report on Team R09's launching of the Purdue Survivor Satellite Network. We would like to note that during the editing of this feature, the team reached out to Apocalypse News with a few words of advice for any other groups out there who are attempting to resuscitate the dying embers of humanity by launching a rocket. Don't feel like you have to design everything from scratch. Use what came before as a guide for your design. I learned how to determine the delta V based on different stages for a rocket. 
Through this, it helped me decide which design was best for my rocket to reach its wanted orbit. <laughs> That's our report. We'll be back on at the same time next week if we're all still alive, but this is cool. Apocalypse News, signing off.